Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, it's finally arrived, my pepper pot outboard disc which I'm going to be putting onto the GP. Um, I probably should have explained last week that the other um, hydraulic disc that I put on the GP was to basically get me through an MOT and uh, which it did but this came yesterday afternoon it's a bit greasy because I was working on it last night and I've explained what I did <clears throat> on this backing plate they uh, they don't have a bolt that holds on so this could in theory come loose and your wheel can spin and it'll cock up everything so what I did yesterday was I drilled and tapped and just put a an allen bolt basically in there that fits so that won't turn around you see that now that's rock solid what they were doing or how they do it is they just use friction between the hub and the, this um, mounting bracket so um, you know you could have left it like that I just prefer the like the original disc it's, it's bolted in there and it's you know it's nice and easy and uh, it needs a, obviously a clean now but I'm just going to swap this over, put the wheel on, and uh, I'll, I'll get this put on. Also, as well, I've got brand new. I'll take it out of the bag. Brand new uh, polished uh, master cylinder, and I'm the reason I put the vinyl hydraulic on last week. The pipe was because uh, I prefer them than um, you know what you buy in the kits basically so each to their own so I'll just cut away and I'm gonna um, basically change the hydraulic over what I've, I'll, I'll explain what I'm doing anyway so I'll cut away on this and I'll show you what I'm gonna do on the GP right so on the GP I just need to undo these two allen bolts take the caliper off take the, um, the damper out of the way and then I can drop the front um, hub, take off um, the speedo drive, and then I can put that one on, tighten it all up. Um, I will be taking off the horn cast again, the handlebar top, and obviously changing all this as well, so I'll video that as I do it. But this was basically a temporary, it's done, it worked fine, no problem with it. Um, it's just that I like the style of the, uh, the pepper pot one, so hence I bought one. So bear with me while I change that. Alright, so step number one, I just take off these two Allen bolts with a Allen key. One. And number two. I'm going to get it lined up, that's it. Just take them out, excuse the camera work. You should have just put it on the tripod, but I'll cut back in when I put that on. Right, so they're back on, or I should say off, you just pull the caliper out of the way. I just need to undo these holding on there, damper, so I just need to go and get a spanner for that. Right, so the caliper's off, <coughs> or slave cylinder. The damper I've removed and now I've just got to undo the speedo drive under here and then I can undo my bolts and drop my disc brake. Right so the disc is ready I'll explain this um, now you probably see it better now um, it, I'll show you the difference between the hubs why I did this and I recommend you do it yourself so I'm just going to stick that on the fault links and I'll cut back again right so these nuts are done up at 40 pounds or just over 40 and one on the other side's already done so our wheels in turning nice so uh, what I'll do is I'll just show you what I mean by why I lock this plate in so it can't move up and down because the last thing you want to do is this starts to come loose and spins and then your caliper comes up 
uh, or your slave cylinder not this one but it moves up and before you know it if it that bends and you're pulling your brakes and there's no fluid going through you won't have any brakes but um, also as well it can kill the speedo drive um, stick that in and I'll, what I'll do is uh, I'm just going to stick the, the speedo in and pop back in and show you the difference in the hubs and why I did that bolt which you can't actually see buried under there but it's doing the job it's stopping the the main inner hub and the speedo drive from turning I mean if that turned around and the cable could break it you know it's just it, it's doing the job properly as they should have done in my opinion but life is like that do that again all right so the speedo drives on and the wheels going nice and easy quite happy with that so before you do anything putting on slave cylinders make sure you clean the surface the friction surface both this and the pads that are in the uh, slave cylinder but that's the look I was after just bringing it up to the modern age it spins beautifully that does I'm well happy with that right, I'll cut in and show you what the difference is with the hubs right this is the disc brake um, hub basically it's got a pin in it it's series 2 TV175's had them on there um, drum brakes as well but that beast there when that disc that uh, they make now has this hub type cut out in it so as you can see that plate that was on about can spin so what I did was I drilled and um, tapped out and put a, uh, an allen bolt basically in there so that it couldn't move so that plate is basically locked as it would be with that so the link this can't spin around that can spin there's nothing holding that it can spin I don't know if that's a, a design flaw that they did I'm not really sure um, or whether they've moved this up so that the plate just can't move but it shouldn't be able to move down there because the speedo drive will be in the way but it, can you imagine that knocking all the time it's only a cast aluminium so I've just alleviated that moving by putting the bolt in the in the plate as I showed you earlier I hope this makes sense anyway so I'm going to stick the uh, the uh, disc back as it was all right just an update so I've changed the the actual mount the lever and the brake give it a bit of a clean up Not bad looking and if it um, stops as well as it looks I'll be well happy just feels perfect to be honest um, got a bed in but uh, they're not bad looking uh, disc brakes are they Alright, until the next one, take care everybody, thanks for watching, bye.